Welcome to our safety and instructional video. Whether you're a seasoned climber or a beginner, safety is our top priority. In this video, we will cover the important guidelines for climbing routes, understanding markings, chalk etiquette, and do's and don'ts on the wall. So let's get started. Embarking on a climbing session, don't overlook the game changers, warming up and stretching. Just as a team gears up for a championship, your muscles need prep. Warming up boosts blood flow, enhances flexibility, and primes your body. Stretching not only widens your range of motion, but also minimizes the risk of injury. Treat your body like a fine-tuned machine. Invest a few minutes in warming up and stretching. First, let's talk about climbing routes. A route or a problem is a designated path on the climbing wall. It's marked by a series of colorful holds. Your goal is to reach the top by using only those holds specific to your route. Let's learn about how routes are marked in our gym and how to read them. All the holds in the route would be of the same color and shade of the color of the starting holds. The starting point of a route is indicated by a piece of tape at the bottom. Climbing grades are mentioned on the tape stuck to the starting holds. The climber positions both hands on the two starting holds. A correct start is when the hands are placed on the marked starting hold and both feet are off the ground either on the foothold or in the air or on the wall and then moves on to grip the next hold. Once you've started the route, use your problem-solving skills to find the best sequence of holds. Keep your balance and momentum. You've got to control your movements, find the right holds and make it to the final hold with both hands. And that's how you finish a bouldering route. When you're on the climbing wall, there are a few important things to keep in mind. If you're not actively climbing, please stay off the beds. This helps prevent accidents and ensures a smooth climbing experience for everyone. If your route intersects with or is too close to another climber's route, be patient. Wait until they finish their climb before attempting yours. Be careful and avoid jumping when down climbing a route. Instead, climb down using whichever holds are available. This minimizes the risk of injury. Healthy knees? Yes, please! If you prefer powdered chalk, take a small amount and rub it between your hands while keeping your hands inside the chalk bag. Be mindful not to create excess dust or throw the bag around, which will waste chalk. If you're using liquid chalk, apply a small amount to your hands, rub them together until it dries, and then start climbing. By following these guidelines, you'll contribute to a safe, respectful and enjoyable climbing experience for yourself and others. Remember, safety comes first. Enjoy your time on the wall and keep pushing your limits. We look forward to climbing with you.